We are House Atreides. There is no call that we do not answer. There is no faith that we betray. Oscar Isaac forevermore is the Duke Leto. Hi guys, it's Quinn's Ideas, and a new Dune trailer has just been released on the internet. If you appreciate my content, you can help out tremendously just by clicking the like button. It really helps the YouTube algorithm see my content and notice when I upload and circulate my videos. Thank you guys. As some of you guys know, just last night I saw like 18 minutes of the Dune movie. I streamed about it. It was amazing. This trailer shows a lot of the little bits from what I saw in the movie, so we're just gonna go through this trailer and, you know, talk about it and break everything down. So this trailer starts off very similar to the movie. The movie starts off with a voiceover by the character Chani talking about the planet Arrakis and how beautiful it is and how the Harkonnens have just been oppressing the Fremens for many, many, many decades, long before Chani was born. What I really love is the look of the Fremen Spice Harvesters. That's the giant thing that you see being attacked here by the Fremen. The Harkonnen Spice Harvester is different than the Atreides Harvester that we did also. They showed us a scene with the Atreides Harvester. The Harkonnen one is definitely creepier. It looks like kind of like an octopus thing. It's just really, really, really creepy. So basically it's established that the Fremen are on Arrakis and the Harkonnens are coming in, taking the spice and basically being these huge oppressors and killing a bunch of them. So the Fremen, yeah, they're attacking, they're defending their lands as any like native culture would. Um, the Harkonnen look in this movie is really, really intense and just kind of like brutal and harsh. And you can see at one point they've got what don't look like Fremen to me. These look like Atreides soldiers lined up here. These look like some other enemies, not the Fremen here, even though it's during the voiceover where Zedai is saying they ravaged our people. Um, and this pile of burning bodies here, too, also, I think, is probably not Fremen bodies. I think these are probably Atreides bodies. The structure in the background, I can't imagine Fremen... Fremen don't really, like, live in cities or places where there's, like, structures of that manner, so I, can't, I don't think that is... The aftermath of any Fremen affair. I think that's the aftermath of something that happens probably later with House Atreides, where a lot of people die. So, so even though Zendaya is giving that voiceover and talking about how the Harkonnens have oppressed the Fremen, the image that they're showing here is something else. They do that in trailers a lot, obviously. And also, we see Chris Knife with blood on it. Also, this is that appears to be in Paul's dream. That's Chani holding a Chris Knife with blood. And can I just say to Zendaya's look in this movie? fantastic uh from what i saw of the movie last night her presence absolutely blew me away i said in my live stream that i was most impressed by her and oscar isaac so it just looks really good the scale of everything yeah this is a shot here of harkonnen ships leaving the planet arrakis which was also in the beginning of the movie and the fremen don't really know why the harkonnens have left they're just like oh who will our next next oppressors be um and so just like in the actual movie, it cuts right from that to Paul sleeping in bed. Not this specific scene of Paul sleeping in bed. Um, this scene here happens a little bit later in the movie. I'm guessing on Arrakis, and I'm also guessing that the Reverend Mother Gaius Helm Ohayim doesn't come to see Paul until Arrakis. That's what I'm thinking. Because we see a Caladan scene very early on, and there's another Reverend Mother. Um, but no guy is held in Mohayim. So um, this is Caladan here as well. I think this is Leto's ship when he's going to probably visit his father's tomb. I think that's what's happening here because Leto is, we see Leto looking at his father, a plaque that looks like a bull and a man, which would be the old Duke that was before the Duke Leto. So that's probably what that shot is there. And then we have a really cool moment between Duncan and Paul. Duncan is coming back from somewhere and he's like greeting Paul. Paul is telling him about the dreams um, and Duncan Idaho because he doesn't really know much about any. He can't. He doesn't really know much to help Paul with what's going on. Paul's powers are awakening and Duncan Idaho has no idea what deal with that is. So he can't really say much to really help Paul. So there's a little joke here where Duncan says, so you put on some muscle and Paul goes, really? And he goes, no. <laughs> but it's essentially a book accurate joke because Paul is small for his age and that's stated multiple times. We also get a shot in the trailer of someone walking off into the desert alone. That's almost certainly 
spoiler alert, the character Leic Hines sent out to the desert alone without a still suit. I think that is what we're seeing right there. And I think that's also what is on the poster. I think it's Leic Hines walking alone in the desert, it appears. So also here in the trailer, we see this big ship land. This is an Imperial Envoy ship landing on the planet Caladan. And I watched this whole scene. It was one of the most epic scenes that I have seen in a movie just because of the grand scale of it. Everyone's costumes looked so cool. So the guy that's coming out is not the Emperor, but an envoy from the Emperor delivering a message to House Atreides. They already know, but it's the formal announcement that House Atreides will be taking the fiefdom of Arrakis. And I did see this scene last night. Those men standing behind him, it looks to be a mix of the Imperial Guards and also Guildsmen. See the Guildsmen with the big bubble heads and they've got spice all in there, like flowing around. So basically this was a formal announcement that House Atreides will be taking the fiefdom of Arrakis because there is no call that House Atreides does not answer and there is no faith that House Atreides betrays. And then like in this scene, it's so cool and it's so epic and they start chanting, the soldiers behind the Duke start chanting, Atreides, Atreides, Atreides. And it's just like, I want it to like start chanting in the theater along with everybody else. Um, so we see here, we get a little quick image of a ship coming out of a Highliner. I'm coming down to Caladan, it looks like, as well. And we also get a couple more shots of when House Atreides was first arriving on Dune, which we've seen in other trailers before. Another shot of Zendaya and Paul Atreides. Pretty much, I would say, from everything that I've seen in this trailer and from what I saw of the movie, they're really putting a lot of work into making the characters have conne better connections and to be developed better. Frank Herbert was all about the philosophy and all about the story and all about like just telling, all about making a statement. But for a film, I think that the characters need to kind of come forward. And I think that's exactly what we're seeing here and it couldn't be more amazing. We also get shots of Jessica. Her face is covered in tribal markings and she's got blue within blue eyes. So I'm thinking that either this is a vision, because we also see Paul with blue eyes in the trailer. We see him, one, standing with Chani with blue eyes, and we see him in what appears to be Feta King armor, um, also with some other Feta King, because Paul trains Fremen soldiers in the weirding way, and he like teaches them a bunch of stuff, and he creates Death Commandos, the greatest Fremen fighters that there are, the Feta King, but that happens much later in the book. So either these two images where Paul and Jessica have the eyes of Ibad are visions, or this movie actually continues past where we thought it would and it actually moves month, months or several years of Paul into the desert Paul and Jessica in the desert that's the only way that it would make sense it would have to, it would either be a vision or it would be like we actually spend more time in the desert than we previously thought um it looks this looks like it's around the time that Jessica undergoes the spice change becomes the wild reverend mother um I think it could be another scene but I think that's what that is there and that's really freaking cool. We also get a clear shot of the actor that is playing Jamis and his blue within blue eyes. It looks really cool. And we get a shot of the city, probably Arakeen, and we see the Thopters flying. By the way, in the part of the film that I saw last night, they showed us about like, I think about total, like about roughly 20 minutes of the movie, but there was an entire Thopter scene, the scene with the sandworm um, eating the spice crawler. And the way the Thopters move, they move like dragonflies. And they are so freaking cool. Like Duke Leto, when he decides to go in and save the men, like all the wings just kind of go straight on the thing and it just dives. And it's just, look, it looks incredible. Um, so I'm really digging the look of the Atreides soldiers. Um, and the Harkonnen soldiers are like something else. So you get, you get a shot of like the Atreides forces in the trailer and you get a shot of the Harkonnen forces. And it's, what is going on? And the Harkonnen forces, this looks like that episode of Rick and Morty where there's like the evil Rick and they fly in and there's just like all the Mortys like shielding the thing using the Morty rays or whatever it is. It's like, what in the heck is going on? But yeah, the Harkonnens love torture. They love that sinister stuff. It looks like there's people being tortured and then the Harkonnen soldiers are getting blood rubbed on them. It's sinister, whatever is happening. And if you guys could only hear the Harkonnen, the bits of the Harkonnen soundtrack that Hans Zimmer showed us last night. It was like incredible. He invented like new instruments so that it like it sounded totally alien and totally different. It, it's just really, really cool. And we get a shot of Raban and we also get a shot of the Baron. We get to hear his voice. Gurney Halleck is screaming that the Harkonnens aren't human. They're vile. So it's really like hyping it up. These Harkonnens are bad people. They're like not good. 
um, because it's like it's a kind of decadence that just keep it's decadence and fascism and it's just gone too far this is kind of like dune is all about like not all about but one of the main things about it is that it's kind of like pushing humanity it's it's pushing the limits of what humanity could be it's like how far could humans go in multiple different directions right you got the harkonnens who who really specialize in a, in a way like a weird form of cruelty you've got the Bene Gesserit who really specialize you've got the Tleilaxu who really specialize you got the Ixians who really specialize you got the Mintats who really specialize everyone is specializing in like a very specific way and it's about like how far do you push how far can you push it before you're not even human anymore all right that's what this is about so we get a really good look at the Harkonnen forces and we get a good look at um the Atreides forces all in all, we get multiple shots of Dr. Yuit in this trailer. We get a look at Leia Kynes. We get to see like a lot of big action moments. We know there's several big action scenes in this movie. No doubt this is an epic. Everything that I saw of it was completely epic. Paul Atreides in his Fade King armor. Um, Oscar Isaac as the Duke Leto. Zendaya as Chani. Everything about this just looks perfect just looks great i couldn't be more excited and as i said earlier i streamed for like an hour and a half last night about everything that i saw and the 20 minutes of dune that i saw plus all the behind the scenes footage and my initial reaction to the trailer so if you want to check that out that is the last thing that was uploaded on my channel so yeah in conclusion i really like everything i really enjoyed the look and the scale of the movie the Harkonnens look super sinister. I can't wait for everyone to hear the sound design because it's equally sinister. I love like the ritualistic, creepy nature of whatever it is they're doing here. This like preparing for war thing. This is probably directly before the attack on House Atreides on Arrakis. So it looks like we're definitely going to see that scene in the movie, obviously. And it's going to be intense. It's going to be crazy good. And we're going to have a lot of cool Duncan Idaho moments. Uh, lots of cool Fremen moments, which I'm very, very excited about because that's something that's been ignored mostly in adaptations of this, especially the David Lynch uh, version. The Fremen were not characters. They were not a real culture. They were just people that were used, essentially. But here, the movie opens up with the Fremen. This movie opens up with the Fremen, with a narration by the character Chani. And um, yeah, so it's their story. It's establishing that Arrakis is their place. They have a deep spiritual connection to this world. They love it. They've been there for generations. And the Imperium is invading. <laughs> the Imperium is invading and sucking their resources dry. And so she says, I wonder who our next oppressors will be. And immediately cuts to Caladan. Which is why Dune is such an interesting story. It's such an interesting story. Because no matter the form that the Imperium takes, it's still the Imperium. Whether it's House Atreides that has the fiefdom of Arrakis or whether it's the Harkonnens. They're still oppressing the Fremen, and that's like one of the main things. Um, and I'm just so excited and happy and proud that Dune is made and that we get to see it in a couple months and super, 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 super ready. So check out the trailer if you haven't seen it. Check out my live stream from last night. If you have any questions or comments, right there in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.